Hello everyone, it's good to see you all back. Have any of you here given the new Heavy Trace Rifle called Microcosm a try yet? If so, what do you think of it? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section about it, as I thought it was going to be a gimmicky weapon with little usage here and there. However, after using it with and without Cenotap added, I came to a conclusion that this Heavy is stupidly good. Like I mean dead serious, this thing can kill champions and bosses very fast once the debuffs and buffs are applied. And today, I'm going to show you an easy way to do this, when in your fire team or on your own. Yes, we will be using the Cenotype Mask to achieve this goal for the support section of the build, but as long as you follow the given loadout I have, you can adapt the subclass and elemental weapons to your liking. Starting with the exotic or the build and general aim, our aim is to support players and teammates alike via the high uses of Cenotap Mask, while also showcasing the true power of Microcosm for such a build. For this, we will need to be using Cenotap and Microcosm as the two main exotics for the build. Starting with Cenotap Mask with its exotic effect, High Priority, it states, It steadily reloads a portion of your equipped Trace Rifle magazine from reserves. A damaging a vehicle, boss or champion with a Trace Rifle marks them as a target. When an ally defeats the marked target, a special ammo is generated for you and heavy ammo for your allies. A Cenotap has been one of the best support based exotics that any team can have, with thanks to this effect of allowing us to drop a huge amount of heavy ammo for our team. Although its design is questionable at best, the following allows any players who use the Trace Rifles a lot to provide a ton of support that will benefit you and your team no matter where you are. Only downside to the exotic is that it won't produce heavy for us when this perk is triggered, but that's easily navigatable. Our second exotic is the Microcosm with its exotic effect, Power Casual Beam, which states, A fires a beam of kinetic light, dealing massive bonus damage to shields. Its base exotic perk is good if used against anything with shields in the higher endgame content, as that's where shields become the most noticeable in game. A sentry effect, power casual imbuement, is where the weapon can become a monster after your super or prismatic form ends, as that bonus damage you get can deal a hefty amount of damage against bosses, as long as it's via a critical weak point like chest or head or etc. Combining this with Cenotap makes it even more stronger for the support nature we are going for. For aspects and fragments, we have the following. Weaver's Call, where activating your class ability will produce free fed things that will attack the nearest target. A Feed of Void where getting any ability kills grants Devour. Devour improves self healing and also grants grenade energy. A Faster of Awakening where rapidly defeating targets with light or darkness damage or super final blows generates an elemental pickup of the matching damage type. A Faster of Dominance where your Void grenades weaken targets and your Art grenades jolt targets. A Faster of Grace where defeating targets with kinetic weapons grants you bonus transcendence energy. Defeating targets with your super grants you and nearby allies bonus transcendence energy. A faster balance while rapidly defeating light targets grants melee energy. Rapidly defeating dark targets grants grenade energy. And faster coverage where your arc, solar and void abilities deal increased damage to targets afflicted with darkness debuff. As Cenotype focuses more on the uses of the weapon rather than the fragments, we can explore a bit more and use fragments that will benefit the kit in a number of ways. A faster balance and awakening both have their usages, we are providing a buff towards our base abilities while playing. While faster dominance and coverage will help with the debuffing side of things when you really want to amplify your damage. A faster grace is the only one here that will see usage via our weapon selected, Microcosm. Since both items work in conjunction with each other, we can single-handedly expand this weapon's support profile even more, just from getting the required kills is after. I would say if you want to experiment a bit more, Facet of Justice and Facet of Generosity are two areas worth investing in if you want to lean more into the Transcendence Form section. This is only recommended though if you can sustain your heavy and primary weapon overall being used. For the mods and stats, we have both resilience and discipline marked as our top priority, with strength and recovery also playing their part as well. Resilience, we have R at tier 10 for a 30% damage reduction. No key mods are needed for this area, as having devour will be enough to increase the potential of the user. Discipline, we have R at tier 10 for a 1 minute 16 cooldown via Vortex Grenade. As our Vortex Grenade will be one of the two ways to debuff targets via our fragments, 
having mods that invest back into grenades are a must for this high usage. But do remember that as we have Devour on hand, we don't need to use Kickstart mods for that extra bonus as well. Having Impact Induction times 1 for a 12% buff and a Distribution for a 4% buff is all you'll be needed for the build from here onwards. Additional mods which are highly recommended, we have the following. Charge up times 1 for a plus 1 in armor stacks we carry. A solo weapon surge times 1 for a 10% solo weapon buff. Lastly, having heavy and special finder mods, reserves and scavenger are also highly recommended for the weapons we are using. And I would heavily advise you look into this quite a lot just to make sure that you have enough ammo going for the trace rifles as they do burn through quite quickly. So as we have covered our exotic heavy weapon, I would then advise you to pick a super weapon for the build. Primary is going to be more down to you as having a connect weapon will trigger faster grace effects more often for you. But at the same time, it won't be the main weapon we rely on the most. However, I did use bolt endings with headstone and collective action as it was handy for general enemies I faced while his weapon frame per type grants super energy for kills made. This in many ways means I can still benefit from my heavy weapon through primary kills as long as it's consistent towards the end game of the build. In secondary, we have the Acacia Dejunction with Feel Perfect Incandescent, which pairs well with our super being used and is good against singular targets. Since our option isn't limited down to just one elemental trace being used, you can swap out your trace rifle for whenever you like, as long as it matches your elemental super. I can see Void and Strand Trace Rifles being the most common one players use, just for their per combos alone, so don't panic with not using the same weapon I have, since you have plenty of options to pick. We are all quite familiar with how strong Sun Attack builds can be with the right elemental combos applied. In fact, that's a lie, as no matter what elemental subclass and trace you pick to use with Sun Attack, it has always been a good combo no matter the situation. On top of that, it allows players who build craft quite a bit to explore different elemental versions that all hold some pros and cons to them. So my reason as to why I chose Solar as the main pick is because the super in general is really great with ad clearing and support our team at large. On top of that, having an incandescent weapon is great for ad clearing, as applying enough scorch to enemies will trigger an ignition blast, which is great against all enemy types. But most importantly, with how flexible Prismatic is, we can choose which method of Synetap you like to go with, from DPS, support, solo focus, healer, etc. And with Microchasm now being available, we can mix the build into one area, which is going to be DPS and support. Microcosm is honestly a very powerful weapon that can get even more stronger after a super has been used. Since the build can get a super up fairly easily, this will allow us to nuke champions, mini bosses and bosses alike as long as we have the ammo to achieve this. Oddly, it does seem quite low tier with how strong it is as I haven't noticed much commotion from the community about its strength. Although. I have heard here and there that his biggest weakness is his ammo reserves and how much ammo you can burn through with using it if you're not careful. Unfortunately, this is true and since Cinetap can't produce heavy for ourselves, we can't overuse this weapon too much and must use it accordingly as we play. Honestly, Cinetap builds don't require a big in-depth talk of how good they are as they are pretty simple to use. If you have given the microcosm a try yet, well, now is a good time to try it before GMs, as quite honestly, having one user with this two combos in general is gonna make GMs an absolute breeze this season. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. Dim link for the build is located below in the pin section. And I do advise you to check out my playlist for more additional content. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.